the question is is p plus q plus q minus r greater than p minus q plus r so that is the question is p plus q minus r greater than p minus q plus r so now let us rearrange this this one okay so i am taking p to this side and uh, q also to this side and this r i am taking to this side so here p if i am taking this p to this side it will become minus p now its q is here i am taking this q also to this side it minus q will become plus q greater than this r i am taking to this side so it is r plus r so p minus p will get cancel q plus q is 2q 2q greater than 2r so we can cancel 2 so q greater than r so the same question we can rearrange as is q greater than r this is our question right now okay so we have to answer whether is q greater than r and one more thing that you need to uh, remember here is that it's a yes or no question it's only asking is q greater than r so even if q is not greater than r also you can answer the question right we, we can say no is q greater than r no then it is that we are answering the question that also you need to remember here so now statement one says that p minus q is positive p minus q is positive means p minus q is greater than zero so if i rearrange i can write it as p greater than q if i take q to this side right and now second statement says that p minus r is negative that means p minus r is less than zero so if i put r here we can say that p is less than r now the question is is q greater than r that means i need to check whether q can go to r that is the uh, uh, that is the actually uh, a trick of inequality right we need to check whether q we can go from q to r so here q is closed we cannot go okay so let's check whether r here it's asking is q greater than r let's check whether r is greater than q okay so that means i need to go from r to q so from here i can go from r to p and i can go from p to q that means r is greater than q okay so the question was is q greater than r since r is greater than q we we can answer this question as no q is not greater than r r is greater than q right we can answer as no so actually using both the statement we are able to answer the question it doesn't matter whether it's a yes or no we can answer the question right so by using both the statements we can answer the question so c the question can be answered by using both the statement but cannot be answered using either statement alone that c is the right answer